Hello everyone and welcome back to the third episode of this construction vessel series. Today I'll work a little more on the exterior detailing of the ship. From here on though, I think I'm going to do more update style videos that I did with the ferry project, um, just because there's not a lot of building going on anymore. Currently I've got a Discord friend working on the interior of the whole vessel. If you want to see updates on that, just join my Discord server and there's plenty of pictures for you to see. In the meantime, I've been working on some electronics for the vessel. I've also got the elevator fully functioning as well as the two rib bays on each side. So without further ado, let's get started on this build video. First thing to get done is build the crane. So for this, I actually wanted to use a sort of a rail system that would move the crane up and down and sideways along the deck. So I started with uh, the main rails that slide along the two sides of the vessel. These are only two blocks wide because I didn't really want to make them any wider, which take up a lot of space. Next, I put on the crossbar that would actually hold the crane, and on this one there's also sliders on each side that will hold the base of the crane. Now, the plan for the base is just to be a square with a rounded top. I tried making it like this, but as you can see, it did not really work out so good, so I ended up having to change it and make it again using one by one wedges, and that seemed to work quite a bit better. Um, even though it didn't perfectly line up on the top of it, I just ended up kind of rounding it off a bit more, and that looked fine. There wasn't too much of a disparity between the bottom and the top. Making the body of the crane was pretty easy. It's basically just a big pipe. That's all it is. And I uh, just had to make the top a little bit curved, um, just so I can fit all the winches up there. I chose this cool yellow color for the top uh, just because I thought it would contrast really nicely with the blue that I already used for the ship. And it was actually part of the original design of the crane that I found online. So this is pretty realistic as to what you would see out there in the real world. So the way the crane works is it has an attachment um, at the bottom of sort of that cylinder cab. And from there, it has this really long, like these couple beams that stretch out and they're suspended by a lot of winches, which I think should make it pretty strong. I've heard just the more ropes you put on it, the better. So I'm putting six medium winches, which should be able to carry quite a bit of load. I'm not sure, but uh, I guess when we'll test it, we'll have to find out. The cab is quite small, but it's useful because you get a good view of whatever you're doing with the crane. You're always facing wherever the main boom is pointed. And it looks really cool in my opinion, it actually looks really nice. I tried to do this thing with the paint blocks to sort of make the window look more realistic, but uh, this actually ended up not looking uh, really good. So I figured I'd just use a black window in the middle to separate it. And I think that looked a lot better than it did before. The entrance to the crane is just a simple door at the back, and I added a ladder at the back of it later just uh, so you can get up in the seat. For now, I'm just hooking up these winches to test if it actually works. Uh, none of this stuff is final, more or less just to see um, if my design actually has some merit to it. But here, I think it actually was working pretty good. I couldn't get it to balance for a while, just because the ship does not have any fuel in it yet, and it's really buoyant right now, so it's not really at its like peak stability. Once I get both stabilizing systems in there, as well as all the fuel, I'm sure it'll carry the crane a lot better than it is now. Because right now when I go to the side, the whole thing just lists. It feels like a feather, but it won't feel like this when it's done, trust me. After quite a bit of testing, I realized that I forgot to put the rotation pivot in here. And so I went about doing that, which means I had to select the whole top half of the crane again and kind of put that on the pivot because it was not in the same body as the pivot. From here I put some winches on the end of the crane just to kind of hang a rope down to see what it would look like.
Still though, this thing tilted a lot and I was actually getting worried whether or not the ship would be able to handle a crane of this size. And this is with no load on it too, this is just the empty crane. So if it was actually carrying something, I'd need the ship to be a lot more stable. I also realized that the crane actually had to be lifted up two blocks because otherwise you couldn't be able to walk under it. And that's kind of important if you want to access all the ladders and stuff that go down to the first deck. So after I was done with the crane, I moved on to doing the interior a little bit. On the first deck, I placed down a bunch of wing pieces just to start making the hallway. Now, I could have probably left this whole deck one part um, not accessible and just filled it with, you know, fuel and stuff like that. But I decided to make a hallway to be able to pump fuel from one side of the ship to the other, just to be able to balance it out more um, during, like, lifting operations and stuff like that in rough weather. So that was kind of important thing to do. And on the side here is where I'm making the fuel tanks. So as you can see, I go pretty much all the way up to the bow, which I'll end up redoing that later. I move them back quite a bit um, just because I don't want the ship listing too far forward. Next, I kind of went back and forth in a few different elements. I tried to fix up the rib bays a little bit and end up coloring them mostly white and then moved on to stretching the fuel tank back a little more just so I can get the ship more on balance. And I think this worked well. Um, I'm also probably gonna end up reducing the amount of fuel I have in the tanks anyway, probably from 100 to 90%, just so I can pump it across and keep the ship level. The next thing I wanted to do was work on the bays a little bit. And so I made a little entrance from the second floor of the bay going down and I made a little rail there just to provide a little bit of storage and just like a space to kind of go where you don't have to be right up against the boat that's in there. Then I started making the base for a crane that I would put in there. Now this didn't end up being the final version. Uh, I actually put a different system in eventually. But this is what I was thinking to put in. It was just this kind of like crane with one piston operating it. And this was not a bad idea, but I don't think it was the best idea because it couldn't really fold out that effectively and the rib bay is pretty tight especially with the boat that i chose is pretty much no space on either side so this crane didn't work too well for my purposes but nonetheless i started to kind of try to make that happen and see how it would work after getting the crane done i kind of sorted out a few more things including the elevator and then i started working on the stairwell because i knew i would need one for a ship of this size so first thing I did was kind of just cut a hole down both sides of the elevator and I soon realized this is going to be harder than I thought because the hole was not long enough to fit in a full set of stairs so I had to curve them somehow or uh, do some kind of other tricks to have them fit in there and this would take up also a ton of space which I didn't really like and so I spent the next little while trying to see how it could fit in these stairs in each floor. I tried just copying and pasting them to see how it would look, but I think eventually ended up going with stairs only from, uh, I think the sixth deck or the fifth, uh, just up to the bridge and a couple decks below it, but then I would move another staircase. Uh, the staircase would go upwards, closer to the bow from there. Yeah, trying this in the ship, I took up a ton of space. It wasn't really effective for anything. It kind of blocked off a whole lot of things and I eventually kind of just started to realize this was not what I was going for. Here I even tried sacrificing some space in the rib bay to try and fit in that staircase that I really wanted. But even though I didn't end up keeping uh, the staircase, I ended up keeping this design for the rib bay. Again, here's me trying to figure out what to do with these stairs. Um, now I switched it to actually just being two kind of stairs on the side of each other, but this still wasn't really working super great. 
Then I tested the rib and this actually fit in perfectly. Not surprising because I made this bay just for it. So it would actually fit one of my 27 foot Orca ribs, which I quite like by the way, because I like that you get to have not only one of those like pretty basic inflatable boats. This one actually has a center console on it, which makes it that much sweeter. And who knows, maybe I'll use uh, another, another different kind of rib for the other launch bay because I have two of them. So I kind of have a lot of leeway on what I want to do with each of them. Next thing I wanted to get done was to fix the top part of the ship. It wasn't really looking too nice before with the elevator, so I decided I kind of wanted to cut into the hard top of the elevator and make one more platform for sort of like the nav stuff. And I think this looked a lot better than did before. After that, I started working on the two thrusters that would go on the back. So I started pretty much with two robotic pivots because I knew I needed to have a rotation angle of 360 degrees, which means I'd have to go all the way around. And I started sort of making the base for them. And I think I decided to keep them white for now with a mix of that uh, yellow that I'd used earlier, which I quite liked on the deck. Now for the actual thrusters, I was planning a couple different propulsion options. At the front of them would be just a regular giant propeller. This will just be used for normal maneuvering, kind of stuff like that. And at the back, what I wanted to do was make water jets. Now pretty much the reason I want to do this is because I wanted to have sort of three thrusters on the actual ship. I wanted to have one in the front and two in the back. That way I could have a lot of different possibilities for moving it around. I could have one mode where you could use all three thrusters to kind of move in any direction that you want to, or I could have one mode where you could use these water jets and sort of speed up and get a lot of speed and just travel like more in a straight line when you need to actually get to a job site. And then once you get on the actual job site, you could use more of the propellers um, for more tight maneuvering and stuff like that. Now I hated this first design I had for them, so I kind of tried again, and this time I wanted to sort of extend the outer shell of it a little more. Uh, I tried to extend it width-wise, but in the end I ended up, I think, just pushing it out, just making like a little bit of a bigger circle behind the water jets. And I think it actually looked pretty nice the way it turned out. This part took quite some time just because it was a lot of aligning different types of wedges together and making sure they all fit. But I think I was generally pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, again, you're not really going to see these thrusters that much. They're going to be mostly in the water. They're mostly just functional, so as long as they looked okay, I was fine with it. Then I selected that same thruster and just moved that upwards towards the bow of the ship. Now I know this makes um, the draft of it a lot bigger and so it makes it kind of unable to travel in shallower water but I thought the third thruster really added a lot of maneuverability plus a lot of ships like this actually do have like a rotatable thruster at the front so it wasn't totally out of the blue and unrealistic it was actually something real. The next thing I wanted to do was sort of add a winch on the main deck because I knew we need something to uh, pull stuff with and this large winch was pretty much the centerpiece of this area. So I kind of carved out a big section and I made sure to make enough room on either side to have a path that would go downwards into like the more interior of the ship. Um, at first I just made the ladder that went up, but after looking at it, I realized I kind of wanted to have something that went down too. On the sides, I put some more detailing, just some uh, colorful wedges. And I think these looked actually really nice. I like how the deck looked. It was kind of simple and not really too much going on not more not anything more than you need then i made the container slots and i actually made a six of these so this should be able to carry quite a bit of cargo back on the top i added more supports for the nav tower and it started looking better and better i also painted the top uh, dark gray just to kind of help with some details 
Another thing I added was a little ladder to actually get up onto the ship. I figured I'd cut out a piece of the blue hull and kind of stylize it a bit more with the yellow, just so I can have some place to actually hop out of the water and not be stranded. Then I did more exterior detailing, just stuff on the sides and some fence blocks. Just kind of just makes it look a little nicer. I tried putting rope anchors on the top of the sides again, but like in the second episode, this design didn't work very well. The last thing I did was put some fences up on the top deck just to prevent people from falling off. I made these in yellow and I wasn't sure if that was the right color. I don't think I wanted the fences to be actually in yellow because I painted the rest of them like that but I think I ended up switching all of these back to grey again because the yellow and the blue, when there's such thin lines of yellow going through, it kind of ruins the design so I decided to revert back to the grey fences which you won't see in this video but it should be in the thumbnail I guess. I also put down some linear track next to the sliders of the main crane, which should keep it more stable. It also has brakes on it, so it would actually be really helpful if it was not detecting any signal from the seat. It could automatically apply the brakes and it would keep the crane more secure while lifting stuff. 